Hi, it's Nurse Kathy. Well, it's December 24th, Christmas Eve, and I know we're all extremely busy, and I know we're getting ready to celebrate the holidays, maybe in a different fashion than what we've done in the past, but we're still gonna celebrate. So today I wanna to talk to you about giving. Now, uh, I wanna tell you a quote. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in service to others. You know, we all have a lot of wants in our life. We want the best for our family and for our children. We want good health, prosperity. We want the newest gadgets. And you know, the list just goes on and on. But we tend to get caught up in all of our wants and our goals and we don't experience true joy. Now, happiness is fleeting. It means it can kind of go, but joy is everlasting. This year in particular has been very hard for many people. Many people have uh, lost loved ones, they've lost their jobs. They've had so many losses this year and they need much. So it's through the generosity and kindness of others that we're able to support those people. And when you give to others, you're not only adding to their lives, you're also adding to your life. So the more you give, the more you will have. You know, everything has a term associated with it nowadays, so so does giving. The giving quote term is pro-social spending, and studies have shown that pro-social spending, or giving as I like to call it, they go hand in hand or re to reinforce happiness and joy. Even the very smallest of a gift or gesture means a big difference to a lot of people. Now giving is very easy to do. There's so many ways that you can do it. First off, you can volunteer. You know, your budgets might be a little tight this year, but you can volunteer your time. It's free. There's many organizations that need help. You know, there are a lot of benefits to volunteering, such as it decreases your stress level, it lowers your blood pressure, and for the elderly, it helps increase their lifespan by a few years. Now let's suppose you have a hobby, such as knitting or crocheting or quilting. What could you do throughout the year? You could knit hats, scarves, and, quilt, and make blankets for donation. Another way to give is to our food pantries. Our food pantries, especially this year, are in so much need of non-perishable food and toiletry items. Now, they also need volunteers at these facilities. Now, also monetary donations are needed in order to keep the resources coming. And just remember that your money goes a long way when you donate to a food pantry. In fact, you get more bang for your buck because of their purchasing power. And say, for instance, for each dollar that you contribute to a food bank, it equates to maybe four meals. And don't forget animal shelters, our furry friends. Our animal shelters are in need of monetary donations also in order so they can keep their facilities going. And they're also in need of food and blankets for these animals who are waiting for their forever homes. And also this time of year, don't forget about our local blood banks. Our local blood banks are in dire need of blood and blood products. And that's directly related to the crisis that we've been going through with COVID. They are our main supplier of blood products to our local hospital and facilities. Also in line with that, don't forget your everyday heroes. Those everyday heroes that have helped our community get through this crisis. One thing I like to do is shop on the one for one for retailers, meaning if you buy a gift, they give a gift. I try to find those type of organizations and buy gifts from them so that I can give to others and they in turn will gift, say, a pair of shoes or a pair of socks or something to someone in need. And the other thing is to support local businesses whenever possible and small businesses within your community. Okay, and finally, let's talk about monetary contributions. Of course, monetary contributions are what keeps a lot of our charities up and going and have the resources to help other people. But oftentimes we just make that one-time donation around the holidays and then we forget about those organizations. So why not this year, why don't we make it a reoccurring monthly donation to your favorite charity? So whether you are gifting or volunteering or offering monetary contributions to your favorite charity, you're building lasting connections within your community and you're also getting a huge dose of joy. Oh, looks like I'm getting joined by two of my favorite elves, <laughs> Sophie and Keegan. Well, however you celebrate this season, I wish you much joy and happiness. And I want to remind you to watch Ashley on Monday She at Beyond the Table. She's going to be talking about mindful eating and eating meditation. And then I think these cute little elves and I have a, a last message for you. Okay, you guys ready? All right. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays from our hearts to your hearts. hearts.